Mark, this is the second HBUS 300 you have here at Miltech Precision Engineering from Matsura. Um, why go for the second machine? Well, when we put on the first machine, it was um, it was to try and increase capacity, and it did exactly that. And we, the growth of the business was so much so that it warranted a second machine. Um, yeah, the, we continue to grow, and we're pretty much maximised out the second machine as well. So, um, and what do you actually make here then? On it, let's call it in this cell, because you've got two machines together here in this workshop. What predominantly yeah. is the work? Predominantly uh, valve and manifold bodies uh, is is mostly for the oil and gas industry. We try not to say exactly, you know, just them. Like we look for other work as well, but that is 95% of the work that runs through. That it. can be quite challenging stuff as well. Quite harder materials in a lot of senses, isn't it? Yeah, most of the stuff we run is stainless. Like pretty high tolerances on there, as you can imagine. Um, yeah. And running it through the night, no problems. Well, absolutely no problems. That's the aim of these machines: is to run completely through the night, 24/7. And yeah, that's exactly what we do to get the capacity out. So, so what I want to find out during this video is. Um, you know, firstly, why you would buy this style of machine? What, what's the reason that a company like yours goes for this this machine with, with lots of pallets, lots of tools? What does it give you? I mean, previous to these, we ran most things just through typical miller machines, and what this allowed us to do was to really reduce our costs. Um, one, our machining cost, but then to be able to pass that on to the customer as well. The cost of parts to the customer is a huge saving here, and we're very competitive now. Uh, certainly against the European partners as well and even looking at Chinese counterparts. So, When it comes to the operation of the machines here in this cell as well then, how many, how many bodies do you need in here in order to keep this lot going? Uh, we predominantly have one loader for each machine and then we have a, a cell manager as well. Um, but as we say, once, once the machines are loaded and keeping them loaded at the same speed they're actually machining is, is relatively easy. It comes the weekend when we run out nearly all 15 pallets and then on a Monday you have a big job to get them back up and going. But we only run one shift and that's enough for us to run 24-7 constantly. And, and because when we were here, I think it was about five or six years ago, from memory, there was a lot of vertical machining sensors in, in, the, in the site, three axis machines. There was a lot of hands, there was a lot of moving of components around. Yeah. How much more productive do you think you are now here uh, in real time as a result of having this unmanned running? Well, it's, it's, it's hard to put a number on, but, but massively. Um, yeah, in comparison, you're taking some of these jobs that would have been 10 operations and you're bringing them down into two operations, and, and for that, on a standard milling machine is going to be a lot of hands and a lot of movement, uh, changing parts over. So, yeah, it's hard to quantify, but it's, it's huge differences to us as a business.